The nice thing is you can grab styles that you like. Like I kind of like this pattern here, $10 pot. I'm definitely buying that one now, guys. So look, this is nine pot. Look at this. Yeah. And then this one up here, I mean, this is 25. What's up everyone? So we are at the holy grail of cheap pots, hopefully. Home Goods, Dollar Tree, and TJ Maxx. And we're gonna do a compare and contrast and see if we can find anything. My hypothesis is that Home Goods will have good pots, but they'll be more expensive than TJ Maxx because you go to Home Goods for Home Goods and you go to TJ Maxx for clothes usually. So let's see. I've heard some good things. Pick up some cheap deals. We're gonna analyze and see how good the pots are too. Okay, the raw amount of pots here is blowing my mind. There are so many. So look, this is $19.99. 14 and 12. There's some cool stuff here, but it's not that cheap. Like, this is kind of cool, and this is, well, that's kind of cheap, 10 bucks. But okay, this is kind of rad. Made in Portugal, uh, 17 bucks, okay? What about, there's some like, like what is this? A dog pot? Look at this. Yeah, it's a dog pot. How much is that? 20 bucks? There's some weird stuff at Home Goods, guys. I never knew this. Garden, but then look at this. This is a $10 pot. Like that's a $20 dog pot and this is a $10 normal pot. There's no drainage holes though at the bottom. And you got something like this. It's about six inch pot, eight bucks, no drainage holes. Made in Portugal, you could totally drill a drainage hole like right where the tag is and be totally fine but let's go ahead and see there's more stuff over here i feel like this is where you would put someone's ashes so let's not go there <laughs> let's go over here yeah it looks like all this like made in portugal stuff there's some other stuff over around the corner like some of this this style which is kind of cool a little more fragile it seems like a little more ornate and then there's a whole section over here of like super fancy stuff 40 bucks, 60 bucks for this pattern. It was cool, but it's still $60. Now that's kind of neat. $30, you got a little strawberry pot. Okay, I'm digging these things, and they're not even that bad. 15. And you could totally plant, like, you could do a pot and pot in this. You could drill drainage holes if you wanted to. Oh no, there's a drainage hole at the bottom. And then this one up here, I mean, this is 25 bucks. This? is 25 bucks and so is that so there's definitely some value disparity here again that's a 10 buck that's a good find the little 10 buckers right here i think are good find and then these urn basin things are pretty rad for 20 and 15 dollars so we got a lead on some good stuff over at home goods i'm not gonna buy anything yet we're gonna go into dollar tree and see if there's anything okay so this is all that dollar tree has and it's really just all plastic pots of different sizes, but nothing's too big. Like maybe that's the biggest pot you're gonna get. And the colors, not amazing. Again, plastic, not amazing, not that big. It might be a good place to come and get these though. Little saucers, that's actually not bad. Maybe these cocoa liners for your, your hanging pots could be okay, but I don't even know if the quality on this is that good. Looks pretty, looks pretty uh, tight, I don't know. So Dollar Tree, only if you want super colorful, small plastic pots. Okay, we're at TJ Maxx, and I'm pleasantly surprised because it's actually a decent amount of pots here. Okay, I'm pretty happy already. I'm seeing a $13 pot, pretty big. You could totally drill drainage holes in that. Let's go ahead and see what we got here. We got one already hangable for six. That's not bad at all. I kind of like these ones with little legs on them. That's an $8 pot. You can put drainage holes in that too. You can pot and pot that. A little cat for six bucks. How much is this? Oh, these are nice. These are the ones that have the, uh, like the attached saucer with the drainage hole and that's an $8 pot. TJ Maxx is winning my heart right now, guys. Let's see, what else we got here? $7 for that? I'm telling you right now, these are not bad at all. Let's look at this. Doesn't say the price. You get three for one? Seven bucks. Six bucks, okay. So a pot like this will catch my eye, right? But it is six bucks. 
but the thing about it you have to realize is there's no drainage holes and it's glazed on the inside so if you were gonna put a plant in here you would really have to make sure that you water it perfectly because it's gonna hold water like crazy. The nice thing is you can grab styles that you like. Like I kind of like this pattern here, $10 pot. Well, I'm definitely buying that one now, guys. $8 down the drain. Okay, now that we have purchased this one that we broke, what I was saying is you can just grab a series. Like look, that's pretty rad for eight bucks, 10 bucks, and another, I think an, another, yeah, $8 guy. So I've got a little family here. So I can put two small plants in this one and one large in this one and clump them all together. And I've got a nice little arrangement. So after our little snafu, we did pick up some stuff from TJ Maxx. I got the guys with the feet on them, three of those, and one underdog, this guy right here. Now I need to go back over to good old HG and pick up one of those weirdo ones and then we'll do a breakdown at home. So I'm thinking I might pick up this 10 inch that's 10 bucks, but I actually just found these little guys hangers that are three bucks and so i don't really like this style that much but for three bucks i can get two of these guys for six i think that's a good deal and that'll conclude the home goods excursion okay we're back i've actually potted up already but let's go ahead as i'm running through what i ended up putting in these pots just my general thoughts it seems like as we have a dracaena compacta here, not the showiest of plants, but definitely something that I enjoy growing. It seems like Dollar Tree had cheap plastic pots that were very small. Home Goods had a very large variety of ornate decorative pots that had really random prices, like $10 all the way up to $50 for things that were the same volume and not too different in design. Where I got most of my stuff, TJ Maxx, besides the one that I broke, had the most uniform sizing, so like six to eight inch pots almost across the board, four to eight inch pots, and pretty dang cheap. It was like six to $12 for a pot, I think. So hidden gem in my opinion. I've got a Peperomia caparata in this one. This is a mounding Peperomia, one that I, I don't have a lot of. I have a lot of uh, obtusa folia back here. I've got some other ones up there, but uh, this is a really cool one. So the Peperomia caparata. And then over here, I have uh, Microsorum scolopendrium, I think it's called, which is a wart fern. This one is really more like a terrarium suited plant, but uh, I think it'll do really well. It's been growing really well since I bought it, and it's going to do even better in this pot right here. Now in the large pot, I decided to do a bit of a ooh, combination. So I took all of the Aglionemas that I own, at least the variegated Aglionemas that I own, which is the Siam Queen, you have the Favonian and then you have the Wishes. And so I have some really cool ones here. I potted them all up together because I figured, you know, why not? I think a lot of people don't put houseplants together enough and this pot is certainly large enough to support all of them because their root systems aren't that intensive. So we went ahead and did that with this one. Now with one of the hanging pots I got from Home Goods for three bucks, I should take the tag off, but I put in a watermelon Peperomia. This one I've been propagating off of. That's why you can see these cut edges here. I, I might actually trim to the, the next node, but this should do really well in a hanging pot. I need to figure out exactly where to hang this, but that's what I did for one of them. Next and probably most basic, I have a just a standard Hartley philodendron. I thought it was going to be a philodendron Brazil, but I think I got mixed up at the nursery or someone got mixed up in the nursery and I just didn't end up with it. But this is a classic. Obviously, it's not the most exciting plant of all time, but it'll be good in a hanging uh, pot just like this one and for three bucks you can't really beat it. So in the end of those three places TJ Maxx of all places is the best bet cheapest best design selection in my opinion and also the best sizing and some cool little lifted ones with these legs which I think is pretty darn cool. Now if you have any ones that you particularly like as my humidifier goes off feel like I'm in the mist right now uh, drop a comment down below would love to know your finds obviously Craigslist and nextdoor.com and things like that are a great place to buy them. Of course, I'm a huge fan of terracotta, as you guys know, but for some more decorative stuff, TJ Maxx actually won this battle. So until next time, good luck in the garden and keep on growing.